Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm bringing you four tutorials with this new Game of Thrones palette from Urban Decay. I already did a whole rundown on the entire collection with swatches and prices. I posted that video on Wednesday and I'm gonna link it in the description box. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out for all the details on this collection. Typically when I review a palette, I always include a tutorial so that you can see the products in action. But because that collection was so large and because this palette is so large, I didn't feel that I could do justice to this palette, to the shades in here, with just one quick tutorial. And that video was already 20 minutes long, so. I decided to challenge myself a little bit with this palette. It is broken up into four sections. Each section has a quad with a fifth transformer shade. And these little sections are kind of themed. As I go through this, I am gonna to refer to each one of these sections by the name of the transformer shade. That's just the easiest way for me to identify it. So each section of this palette you can see has a different color and design background. And there are other products in this collection that coordinate with each section from the palette. I hope you're following me. So we see here on the top, there's this hard home section. It has this very wintry, dark blue and black kind of print. So there is a lipstick and an eyeliner that have packaging that coordinates to that. There is the White Walker lipstick and the Night King liner. So same thing for the Winterfell section. I used the Winterfell Snow liner and the Sansa Stark lipstick. Then for this gold section, the King's Landing section. I used the Lannister Gold Liner and this Cersei Lannister lipstick. That This is the look that I'm wearing right now. Then for this very last section of the palette, it's packaged in red. It's the Bay of Dragons little section. I used the Dragon Smoke Liner and the Daenerys Targaryen lipstick. Let me know how I did pronouncing that. I was practicing. Okay, I tried. First of all, for each section, I used every single shadow in that section and I did not pull any other shadows. The only shades you're gonna see on my eyes are the liner that coordinates with each section and all five shadows in the section. This is kind of a challenge for me because I typically do like to pull mattes into my looks but if the section that I was using didn't have a mat, I did not pull one in. I'm sure there are gonna be a lot of really gorgeous, avant-garde, just crazy, full fantasy type of looks coming along with this palette from other reviewers, from makeup artists, and I love that. I think that is so fitting and so, so fun to watch, but that's not what you're gonna see here today. I'm really trying to make these shades as approachable as possible. My thought process is, for the people who are going to spend their hard-earned $65 on this palette, I want you to be able to wear it, I want you to enjoy wearing it, and I want to show you some ways to use these shadows that might be a little bit more approachable or a little bit more practical. So in no way would I ever shade makeup artists who do creative, avant-garde, just living the fantasy makeup. I love that and I definitely think there's a place in the world for that but that's not my style. I'm gonna leave the creative genius to the makeup artist. I'm a girl who loves to wear makeup and I'm gonna show you some looks that I had fun creating. Okay, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get to the tutorials. For every single eye look, I'm first prepping my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And we're starting at the top here. I'm just gonna set that Paint Pot with the shade White Walker all over the lid and all the way up to my brow so that I have a nice smooth surface to work on and a nice iridescent base. Now I'm taking the darker shimmery blue, this one is Frozen North, and using a very small dense flat brush, I'm packing that carefully on the outer part of my eye, just building up the shades and sort of blending it inwards. And I'm also gonna put that on the very inner corner of my lid so that I start to create this halo shape. 
Then I'm just going to take a clean brush and blend those two blue sections together through my crease. Now I'm taking Free Folk. This is a silvery blue and using my finger, I'm tapping that in the center where I left a blank space for my spotlight. Now I'm going to use Hard Home. This is the transformer shade. With a small detail brush, I'm building that up all along the inner part of my eye for a nice bright silvery highlight and dragging that partially across my lower lid as well to start to build some color onto my lower lash then i'm taking frozen north from the outer corner and just connecting that all the way across now i'm using take the black and this is going to be a sort of faux liner so on a flat brush i'm packing that along my upper lash line and then rotating the brush sideways to blend upwards so that i get a little bit of a smokier liner look then i used the night king this is the glide on eye pencil and i put that right in my lower waterline i will never get used to waterlining <laughs> Then I curled my lashes and added some of the ColourPop BFF mascara in the shade Black on Black. And then the White Walker lipstick to complete this look. This is so much more wearable than I thought it was going to be. It turned out to be quite easy to achieve this look and I think it looks super cool. But I did decide to take it up a notch. Next, you're going to see this look with a little bit of the ColourPop white mascara added to the tips of my lashes. I thought that it would look sort of like snowflakes had landed on my eyelashes. And this is a great way to not only stick with the theme, but just take this look in a little bit more fantasy or avant-garde direction. And I think it ended up looking so cool. We're moving to the second section now, of course, just prepping my eyes with a little bit of my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And this time I'm going straight in with my crease shade. This is called Nymeria. It's a really medium matte brown. So I'm just building that into the crease, not being too precise, but building up some of that matte color there. Now I'm going to use the liner in the shade Winter Fell Snow and I actually use this as my inner corner highlight shade. I wanted to try something different and I think this was really cool. Then I took Weirwood Leaves which is a dark brownish purple, packed that on the outer part of my lid and did a little blending. Then I used Winter Fell. This is supposed to be the transformer shade but it's quite opaque especially when packed on with the fingertip all over the lid then a little bit more weirwood leaves just to darken that outer corner and i used the green shade called the sight on a small flat brush to add a little bit to the lower lash line there and then i just blended that green shade out with winter is here so that it would sort of connect to that outer corner lastly demolition eye pencil in the waterline for a smoky look curled my lashes, added some of my ColourPop BFF mascara, and with the addition of the Sansa Stark lipstick, this is the finished look. This ended up looking really neutral even though I used a green and a purple. Once those were applied to the skin and blended in together, they really look quite neutral for a nice, sultry, smoky, shiny look, which, I mean, who doesn't love that? Now we're moving to the tutorial for the look that I'm wearing in the talking portions of today's video. Of course, a quick prep with my paint pot. What would I do without my paint pot? Then I started with my transition shade, this really warm peachy matte shade called House Lannister. Built that up in a couple of layers all along the crease area for a transition. And I also used that on a small flat brush to start adding some color to the lower lash line as well. Just really quickly smoking that out all along my lower lashes. Then I added Lannister Red, another matte shade. I'm spoiled for mattes here. 
building that up along the outer part of my eye. And this one is quite dark, so I did it in a few layers to make sure that it looked really smooth and blown out and blended, just blending with an extra brush with no additional product. Then I used this warm bronzy orange shade called Red Keep, applied that with my fingertip all over my lid, and for even more shine, I used Casterly Rock. And on a small little detail brush, I added that to the outer corners. And because you can never do too much blending, I mixed the two matte shades together. And I just used that to really smooth out the crease area and blow out that color. I added a little bit of Casterly Rock on the outer portion of my lower lash line. And of course I used Lannister Gold again on that inner corner for a highlight, just tapping that out with my finger and building up the pigmentation. Then I topped that Lannister Gold shade with the transformer called King's Landing. And this added some really bright champagne metallic shine. You know the drill by now, curled my lashes, added some mascara, and I'm wearing a metallic bronze lip here. This is the Searcy Lannister lipstick. It goes so perfectly with this eye look. Typically, I am not a metallic lip lover, but this does pair so beautifully with this eyeshadow combination. So I might be changing my mind. I actually kind of love the way that this looks together. Last one, we've made it through this palette, MAC Painterly Paint Pot to Prep. I did not use a transition shade for this look. I just went straight into the shimmer purple called Stormborn with my pinky finger and started packing that all over the outer half of my eyelid. Then I used Bend the Knee and again with my fingertip, just filled in the rest of my lid and blended those two purples together. I used this golden shade and I put that around the inner corner. I also took a little bit and just blended it with a brush in my crease area. Then I took this brighter gold Dothraki and popped that right in the center of the lid. Then I took a little bit more Stormborn along the lower lash line as well as a little bit more on that outer corner. Then I used Bay of Dragons, and this time I'm applying it to my cheeks as sort of a highlighter blush topper. I wanted to try to use these shades in a bunch of different ways. I also used the Dragon Smoke Liner, and this time I put it right along my upper lash line. I didn't want to go too dark since this look is a bit lighter and airier. Curled my lashes, added some mascara, and this time I paired it with the Daenerys Targaryen lipstick. This looks a lot more pinky red on the lips. It looks red in photos, but once it's applied to the lips, it is a little bit more sheared out and a shiny metallic shade. Not necessarily what I would pair with this eye look, but I'm glad that it's a little bit more toned down than I first expected. I had so much fun playing with this palette and really pushing myself out of the comfort zone to use more eyeliners and to kind of limit myself to each section of the palette. It was a really great way to break out some different looks that I wouldn't typically do. I would definitely recommend this as a way for you to kind of shake up your style if you're feeling like you're in a makeup rut. I actually ended up liking all of the looks that I came up with. The look that I'm wearing today is my favorite in that it's the one that I would wear again and that I would happily put on to start and go about my day. But I realize it's like warm, toasty, bronzy neutrals and that's kind of basic. I have to say, I loved the blue halo eye look with like the snowflakes on the lashes. That's definitely really out of the box for me and I thought it looked so cool. It was a really, really fun way to experiment with a new style. So that one kind of surprised me because that's my other favorite. I thought I was gonna hate working with this section the most, but I actually really, really enjoyed it. 
I would love to hear which look was your favorite. Are you planning on picking up this palette or anything from the collection? I always love to hear your thoughts on things too. So leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It's, it, it, uh, you okay? Okay. How do you say this name? I do not know. I'm about to Google it. I don't watch Game of Thrones, okay? Don't, don't at me. Daenerys Targaryen. Daenerys Targaryen. Why? Daenerys Targaryen. Daenerys Targaryen. Look, I'm trying, okay? Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, goodness. I'm already losing my voice. And I still got a lot left. Okay, you got this. Okay, I'm impressed. Actually, I actually think it looks really pretty so far. Freaking matte black with glitter. I hate those, I hate those shades. Why? Why do companies keep making these? Nobody likes these. I feel like everyone I talk to is like, oh yeah, I hate those too. Matte black with glitter in it is like the honeydew melon of eyeshadow palettes. Like if an eyeshadow palette was a fruit salad, the matte black with glitter would be the honeydew melon. Everybody's like, ugh you again. No offense to the honeydew lovers, but like we all know it's filler, you know? We're here for the strawberry. We're here for the pineapple. Nobody's here for the honeydew. It's just gonna have to be good enough. Ooh, when you put on this lip and you'll be a little saucy. You only do natural locks. This might completely destroy my look. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, this either looks really cool or I'm delusional. I think it might look cool though. Should I put some on the bottom or is that gonna ruin it? Is it crazy? If it looks super crazy, I'm just never gonna add this footage to the video and then you'll never know. Oh man, I think it might look kinda cool. I can't tell. Maybe, sometimes I think like, I just thought it was a good idea because it was my idea. That doesn't necessarily make it a good idea. Okay, let's shoot it and then if it looks awful, when I'm editing, then I'll just leave it out. Never forget that everything you see online has been carefully selected and edited for your consumption. I feel like the abominable snow. Yipes, that was inappropriate. Edit that out. Okay, bye. Yes, I love it. This is my favorite look. It's the most basic, I know. I like what I like, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, it's pretty. I swear if I get a freaking comment about my eyebrows, like, I know what they look like. You ever thought of that? I look in a mirror. I edit the footage. I like my natural brows. If you don't like your natural brows, you should change yours. See what I'm saying? I'm just really tired of people hating on my natural brows. Like, do what you want with your face. I'm gonna do what I want with my face. How hard is that to understand? <laughs> this is fun. I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. Okay, have a great day. Okay, bye.